All right, what's up everybody? So it's been a few months now that I've owned the ArtTube MP Studio and I get asked all the time if I still recommend this thing and what my thoughts are on it after having it for some time and being able to really put it to the test. So I figured what I would do is put together a pros and cons for this unit so that you can decide whether or not it's right for you and you want to go out and pick one up for yourself. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So we're gonna kick this list off starting with some of the pros of the ArtTube MP Studio studio and the first pro is the portability the form factor as you can tell this thing is very small it literally fits in the palm of my hand so this thing is very easy to transport and bring around anywhere with you on the go you can easily toss this into your backpack bring along your laptop your portable interface microphone and you are ready to start recording some very professional quality audio i love the idea of being able to throw this thing into my backpack and know that when i go to record i'm going to be getting some very nice tube saturation and warmth that really just adds a bunch of character to whatever it is that you're recording. The second pro that comes along with this preamp is the amount of gain that it can supply. It can give up to 70 decibels of clean gain at an EIN of minus 129, which is very low. It's definitely enough gain and a low enough EIN to easily power a very gain hungry microphone, such as the one that I'm using right now, the Shure SM7B. I've tested this preamp with the SM7B numerous times, intentionally trying to to draw any sort of noise that I can, either from the microphone or the preamp, and it's virtually impossible. This thing is very clean. I'm very impressed with the quality that I'm able to pull out of this thing when using it with a very gain-hungry microphone, again, such as the SM7B. And it goes without needing to be said, of course, if you're recording just a regular condenser microphone, there is absolutely no way that you should run into noise issues when you are using this preamp. The third pro that comes with using this preamp is the amount of character and tonality that you can pull out of it when you increase the input and bring your output down. You can really start to drive the tube that's inside this unit and get some awesome character out of whatever source that you are running through it, whether that is an instrument or the microphone, whatever you run through this thing, if you play with the input, bring your output down, you can really start to get some awesome character out of this small portable preamp. Another benefit to using this preamp in particular is the wide range of different inputs and outputs that it has. So whatever you plan to use, it should work with whatever setup you plan to run this thing through. It sounds amazing. It is very versatile. You can do a lot with it. Definitely one of the best bang for your buck preamps right now on the market, in my opinion. Not to mention this unit does have a VU meter on there. So if you're somebody that can benefit from that, or you just enjoy the aesthetic of a VU meter, it does have you covered. Now I only have one con when it comes to this preamp. However, it is something that is pretty major. If you plan to use this thing, you need to have it plugged into a power conditioner because if you plug this thing directly into the wall, you will definitely run into some hum and static in your recordings. Not too long ago, I brought this with me when I went out of town and I planned to record with this in the SM7B, but when I plugged this into the wall, I started running into a bunch of static and hum in my recordings because I was plugging it directly into the wall. When I plug this into my power conditioner here in the studio, I don't have that issue at all. I tried plugging it in at my apartment in just a wall outlet and it did the exact same thing that happened when I was out of town, which tells me that if you're plugging this directly into the wall, more likely than not, you're going to run into static and hum. However, if you are plugging this into a power conditioner, which you absolutely should, you should be plugging all of your equipment into a power conditioner, in my opinion. If you plug this into a power conditioner, you should have zero issues. It should sound very clean, no static, no hum, nothing. Other than that, this is easily the best bang for your buck preamp right now on the market. I haven't checked in a while, but when I bought this thing, I only paid $50 for it brand new. I will include somewhere on the screen right now if it's still the same price, but that is easily without a doubt the best bang for your buck purchase for any preamp out there. This art makes very high quality products in my opinion. I use a lot of their stuff. I'm actually recording with the MPA2 right now, the much more expensive preamp that they carry, but this is a great budget friendly alternative if you are somebody who is looking to include a tube preamp into your setup. So highly recommend it, still love it, still use it. I can't I can't recommend it enough. It's a great product. Anyways, guys, I think that is going to wrap it up. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave that down below and I will try to get back to you. If you haven't already yet, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon beside it so that you can stay notified for whenever I drop any of my upcoming videos. With that being said, I will see you all in my next one. Take care, everybody. Peace out.